Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata and Hadoop World in New York City. I'm here with Sajeep Tu. Sajeep Tu, how are you doing? Doing fine. Hi, Mike. Hello. So, nice meeting you. You're with Infosys. Absolutely. And where where are you guys on the data journey right now? What what are you seeing with Infosys and your customers? Yeah. So uh, Infosys is primarily a service company. It is one of the largest service companies in India. So we are engaged with multiple customers across different verticals. So we are also heavily investing in uh, big data analytics space. We are building a product called Infosys Information Platform in that space. So, uh, so our journey is as good as the journey which the customers are taking. So we we walk along with the customer in their big data journey, and uh, uh, we are we adapt, uh, we work with the customer, adapt all the open source and big data innovations uh, in the space. Excellent. So, are there any uh, industries uh, you know in this country may be different than the verticals in your country right now? So, are you seeing any difference in? Who is moving to big data sooner rather than later? Yeah, yeah. so I think the, the, the pace at which the uh, different verticals are adapting big data and so to say the open source is uh, diverse and different. The speed is mainly governed by the type of the data. For example, if you look at the uh, retail, retail as a space, the explosion of volume of data has uh, has been significant over the last decade. So uh, they are already grappling with the um, data volume uh, for the last five, 10 years. So uh, in many situations, what we have encountered that in the retail space, the adoption of big data is uh, significantly higher. But, uh, um, uh, and if you compare it with, the, it with the financial services space, they look at a big data problem more from the security encryption uh, dimensions rather than only solving the data problem. Yep. So the need is different. The uh, markets in each of the industry verticals evolve in a different manner and uh, everybody tries to derive value uh, in their context. So in, in, let's just take the retail market. Let's say there is a small to medium sized retail company that wants to become big and they want to use big data. How do they go about choosing the right stack and the right tools for them? Absolutely. So uh, the biggest challenge that most of the companies are facing when it comes to big data, yes, they have explosion of data, but they have also ne they also need to show value to their end uh, business users uh, in a with a quick turnaround time. So the the as well as at a significantly lower cost. So cost pressures are also increasing in the market. So they ha they have to balance their stack depending upon the two two drivers, time to get the solutions up and running as well as the cost that they're going to incur. So uh, uh, these are some of the primary drivers. And uh, when it comes to the um, adoption, uh, if you look at it, most of the customers are looking at um, uh, cloud as an alternate option to reduce the cost and uh, to, to increase the uh, to design their stack. The other important thing is how they choose each of the portions of the stack. For example, what are the ETL components that they choose? That depends upon how their current landscape is. What is their analytics component? Whether they need advanced analytics as a component or not. If they need advanced analytics as a component, then definitely they're looking at options like R and SaaS to augment their uh, Hadoop ecosystems to provide the insights into the uh, advanced anal analytics space. So do you think most of the stacks, the data stacks, are open source? that you're seeing with your partners? So uh, the advantage of open source is that you do not have vendor locking. So you can migrate from one vendor to another. It's not that uh, um, like licensed uh, softwares are not adapted by the customers. There is a large adoption still of the licensed softwares. In fact, SaaS itself is a licensed software and similarly you have Oracle. So most of the enterprise data warehouses still run on Oracle and uh, uh, the DB2 and the SQL servers uh, of the world. But uh, the, the uh, innovations which are happening in the open source is collaborative, where the academics as well as the industry are coming together and innovating in the space. So uh, most of the companies are looking forward to leveraging those innovations into their day-to-day uh, -day business. Excellent. So thinking about Infosys and all your partners that you're working with and helping them on their data journey, what keeps you awake at night? What, what challenges do you see that are really thorny and hard to solve. Yeah, so working in the open source big data space, one of the primary concerns which most of the customers have is uh, you have a lot of options now. 
So Apache Foundation itself provides you a lot of options. So uh, the depending upon the customer scenario, we definitely choose uh, certain components in the open source stack. So the, the thing which keeps us awake is that, did we choose the right stack? So what happens when it goes to production? How do we uh, scale the infrastructure in a, a much more timeless and future looking manner? So, and of course the other, other pro um, question that we always try to answer that yes, we are looking into a technical problem, but are we adding value to the business? So end of the day, it's not about building the solution. So what is the perspective which the business is uh, um, getting from the output that we are pr um, providing? So uh, so the, the final result or the final endorsement always comes from the business and not on the implementation of the solution. Excellent. So as long as we do not get that endorsement, I think we, we are awake. <laughs> So if you fast forward 12 months from now, what would you like to see Infosys do? What, what would you like to be doing that's different than you're doing today? Yeah, so I think uh, one of the places where we are uh, slowly getting into is uh, the uh, contributing more into the open source space. So uh, Infosys has been traditionally a service company. Uh, which was uh, more into the application uh, maintenance and um, um, application building and solution building space. So uh, we want to get more deeper and more um, uh, uh, imbibed into the open source ecosystem. And we want whatever we are building gets into the open source ecosystem as well. Uh, on the customer front, I think we also want to um, um, bring in... Uh, leverage all the open source components and leverage all the all the good work that the community is doing and uh, shower the benefits to them. Excellent, well Sudeep too, we look forward to that journey and, and being with you on it, thank yes. you. Thank you, nice meeting you.